How much does it actually cost to start an Amazon business? Can you start with 500? Can you start with 1,000? Can you start with 5,000? Do you need 20,000? How much do you really need? In this video, we're gonna cover all that. There are some basic stuff here, and there are also some additional stuff that I've added, and if you stick around until the end of the video, I'm gonna give you a quick hack on how to maximize your Amazon listing and get the most for your buck for a very, very, very small investment. So if this is your first time on the channel, consider subscribing. Also drop your comments in the uh, comment section because we'd love to see what other videos you'd like to see from our channel and also what questions you have. So let's go ahead and get right in. The very first thing is tools. Now, why are tools important? Because when you're first starting out, you know, you need to be able to analyze numbers. You need to be able to look at different uh, categories and different trends and different things that are happening in the market. And going through it manually is not the best use of your time. Trust me on this. This is how I did it six, seven years ago when I first started. There wasn't Jungle Scouts, there wasn't Helium 10, there wasn't all these fancy tools that are there right now. And trust me, it felt like a, I was in a desert and just really trying to you know, go around and around and around and I just couldn't figure things out. And I was just missing so many things. So tools are very important for us. We use Helium 10. Now Helium 10 costs for the basic one. It's, I think they have a 14 day uh, trial or something like that for the, uh, for the basic one. It's $97 a month. Uh, if you go through our uh, discount code, which I'm gonna put below this video right now, uh, first month is 50% off, and then moving forward, it's 10% off per month. So first month will be like $47, and then moving forward, it'll be like $87 or something. Uh, obviously, unless you are gonna use all of their tools later, like the email follow-ups and PPC management and all that stuff, you really are only gonna need it for like one or two months, uh, to do your product research and, and, and keyword search and all that, and after that you can cancel, right? Uh, again, I'll link our uh, uh, promo uh, codes and discounts below this video. The second thing is product. Obviously, this is very important. If you don't have a product, well, what the hell, right? So it depends on what kind of product you're going to actually sell. The average product, the average 20 to $30 product, say you're gonna order for the sake of this video, we're just gonna take a 20, $30 product, and you're gonna order 300 units, right? So uh, on average, we say that you should, and your DDP price, this is important, you wanna write this down, your DDP price should be not more than 25 to, I'm sorry, your sell price should not, your DDP price should not be more than 25 to 35% of your sell price. So if your target sell price is say, for ease of numbers, is $20, then your DDP price, DDP is manufacturing plus shipping included, right, all the way to Amazon's warehouse. $20, then uh, your DDP price should be not more than five to 650 per unit, right? Times 300 equals, let me grab my calculator. So if we have uh, $5 times 300, so this is 15, so 1500, to 650 times 300, 1950. Okay, so this is if you're gonna sell a $20 product and if you're gonna order 300 units. And this should be your DDP price, five to 650. So 25%, always think with 25%, okay? So uh, you should be investing about this much. Now the second thing is going to be your, or the third thing is gonna be your photography. Um, you could definitely do your own pictures, but you know, I've seen students take uh, like photo booth, like this little photo booth thing or whatever, the black box and then do it themselves. Um, I personally would highly suggest that you guys do a, 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 uh, um, a uh, professional. We have our own that we provide for our own students. And usually these cost between 150 to 250 for seven, seven Amazon um, AMZ picks. So Amazon ready pictures, infographic, the right you know size, all that stuff ready to go, okay? Again, 150 to 250, you could do it. There is a cheaper way. You could like do your own, uh, you know, hire someone on Fiverr. Do not use your, your, uh, your supplier's pictures. Please do yourself a favor. Do not use your supplier's pictures because they've sent them to tens of other people and other sellers are gonna have those pictures on their listings as well and it's just not gonna look pretty. Spend, invest that money there. 
It's a one-time investment, and trust me when I say this, it'll definitely be worth it. Now look, if you're enjoying this video so far, smash that thumbs up button for me, and if this is your first time to the channel, consider subscribing. So let's go to number four. This is UPC. I used to always suggest barcodes, mania, just regular UPC, and it was like, I think three for $10, but uh, you could do GS1, which is the, the, the place where Amazon suggests or recommends. I wanna say, I think they lowered their price because before you had to pay 250 per year and you, you would get up to 10 and you'd need to renew, but I think now you could buy one. And I wanna say it's either 25 or $50, right? So just for the sake of this video, we're gonna say $50 just in case, because I don't want you guys to, uh, you know, I don't wanna say a number, I don't wanna be conservative, right? So $50. Uh, listing. Now, this is optional to actually have hire someone to do it. I don't know what your experience is. I don't know if you have a program that you're, in, that you're enrolled in. If you did, then you know they should teach you how to do it. We teach our students how to create optimized listings, but then we also, uh, uh, like for our business, we have someone that, you know, we've outsourced that task and they do it for us. This is all they do. This is their business, right? They, they create listings, very well optimized. They ask you for your keywords. They do keyword search, they do all that. So that's very important because not only creating a pretty looking listing is important, but also what keywords that listing is optimized for is very important because when the customer is searching, you want your product to show up and not somebody else's. This is optional. Again, you could do it yourself, but if you uh, do it for our students, um, so it's usually between 150 to $200. For our BJK University students, it's $115. And this is this money doesn't come to us. It's a third party uh, 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 company, but you would get you 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 would get charged $150 if you go to them. But they charge our uh, BJK University students uh, $115, so it's it's a $45 uh, or a $35 discount. Okay. LLC. This is not very important, um, but I'm going to talk about it here in just a second. Now look. If this sounds complicated for you and you're trying to sell on Amazon and you're like, Bashar, this sounds great, but I want to make sure that, you know, I'm, you know, this is not a joke, right? $2,000 here. I mean, it adds up, you know, we're, we're talking about a three to $5,000 budget just for the product, not, a, not including coaching or any of that. So if you want to have a professional walk you through it and make sure that you avoid making as many mistakes as possible and, and accelerate your learning curve and accelerate profitability as get to profitability as quickly as possible below this video you can go to a short presentation where we explain to you what bjk university is all about and how you can get involved so be sure to check out that link so llc um as a business any business doesn't matter what you're doing if you're doing amazon fba or whatever business you're doing you want to make sure that you like you as a person and your business, there is a, like a wall or there's some type, something that's, that's, that's uh, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? Something that's separating you be between you and the business. Um, especially when you're selling products. For instance, whatever happens, you know, like when I had, when I owned a restaurant, right? Um, it's very possible that someone can come in something that's spoiled in the fridge, a cook didn't see it, they cook it, they get food poisoning. Or, you know, because it was a bar, people are drinking. What if someone got into a fight, cracked someone's skull open? You know, the business can get sued, right? If the business goes under for whatever reason, they get sued, we can't afford to pay them, whatever. We don't, you don't want the, the person to come after your assets, right? So. Uh, whatever happens in your business, you want it to be contained in the business. You know, the business assets, all that can go. But then if you own your own house or have money in the bank, personally, you don't want people to be able to come after that. That's number one. Number two, entities are a great shell for, uh, uh, they're great shell, they're called shell corporations kind of, you know, for taxes. They're tax havens pretty much because as a, a person, you pay taxes at the highest rates, but a company can write things off, right? Like for instance, electricity, I write this off on my business, but as a person, I cannot write anything off. If I, and, and it's the main reason why as an employee, as a, a W9 employee, uh, you get your taxes taken out of your check before you even take your check because the government does not trust you. But as a business, all of your money comes to you and after all of your expenses, you only pay the government taxes on what's left, right? So that's one of also the, the most important ones. Obviously when you're starting, you're probably not gonna be making a whole lot of money, even if, you, if you're gonna be for the first six, 12 months. 
It is an additional cost of, depends on if you're gonna do it yourself. I know that I filed an LLC about three, four months ago through uh, LegalZoom. It took about two to four weeks or something like that. And it cost me between five to $700. I'm not exactly sure. So let's just say between 500 to 1,000. Again, this is not a must when you're first starting out. If you're on working on a low budget, this is definitely not necessary. You could do it six to 12 months later, no problem, right? Worst case scenario, you might pay a few hundred dollars, depends on how much you're gonna make. You might make, pay a little extra on taxes, but hey, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Even if you have to pay a little extra on taxes, first year, whatever, next year, moving forward, you're gonna be good, okay? Brand registry. Now, this is super important, and I wanna spend some time talking about this. So this is the extra thing that I wanted to add here, and I was kind of a little hesitant, but before we even get into here, let's go ahead and total this out and see how much this is, and then I'll show you, um, first, I'll show you a couple things about this, why it's important, how you can do it for cheap, and um, that's it, okay? So let's go ahead and, and total this out. Let me grab my red pen. So again, if you're enjoying the video so far, do me a favor, smash that thumbs up button and drop your questions in the comments below. We wanna know what you guys uh, think about all this. So, um, so let's, say you're gonna, let's say you're gonna do everything. I'm gonna give you a, an everything and then a, like not so, so much everything, right? So let's say you're gonna do first month $47, so 47 for the tool, um, product. Uh, so product, let's, say, let's just say 2,000 for ease of numbers. Um, photography, so say we're gonna do it, 250. And as you can see here, I'm, I'm taking all the highest numbers, right? So yours might look a little different or a little lower. UPC, we're gonna say it's $50. Uh, listing, we're gonna say we're gonna do the listing. So it's, uh, and then we're gonna say you're not gonna have the discount, you're gonna go directly to them. So that's 150. And then um, LLC, let's say you're gonna do the LLC and it's gonna cost you 1,000. So let's say it's 1,000. And then so let's total Let's load all this stuff out here. So, and then again, this could be like just one month or two months, and then you could go ahead and cancel it after, but we're just gonna say that you're gonna do it. Well, actually, let's say you're not gonna have our discount because you're not gonna have our discount, right? So let's just say it's 97. So let's say you're not gonna have our discount. So this and this, you're not gonna have our discount, okay? So it's 97 plus 2,000 plus 250 plus 50 plus 150 plus 1,000. Okay, so this is $3,547. So $3,547, okay? This is like kind of going up. Obviously you wanna have more money, especially if you're gonna do it by yourself. Uh, what, if you're gonna do it by yourself or if you're gonna have a, a, like if you're gonna enroll in BJK University, you wanna have more money because if you're gonna do it by yourself, you wanna have some cushion for, for trial and error because you might you know, launch products that shouldn't be. You might uh, 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 you know, uh, 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 spend money extra on PPC that you shouldn't. You might launch a product that's completely dud. And then if you're gonna enroll in, in, in a coaching program, Depends on how much that is, you know, for BJK University, for instance, you wanna have a few thousand dollars extra to make sure that you cover that, right? So that's about that much. Now, brand registry, why is that important and what does that mean for you? Um, so when you get brand registered on Amazon, a few things happen. Many things unlock for you. Um, the ability to run banner ads, like I'm pretty sure you've seen it and I actually have a video on that where I show you um, how to do that if you scroll through our channel um, where I talk about banner ads and brand registry. Um, and what happens is uh, when you're scrolling through, you're, you're gonna see like these banners going across with video ads and stuff like that. You can do video ads inside of your listing. You could have a uh, picture, like in your description, you can have videos and pictures. You can upload videos of your product to your listing, which regular listings don't do. Uh, there are, and then there also Amazon has this, um, this uh, 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 new project called influencer marketing where a bunch of influencers uh, that have social media following, you can send them your product and then they will go live and then they will like talk about it and stuff like that and, and drive sales to you. So a lot of awesome ways that you can have as a, uh, um, like, a like an advantage against your competition that gets added to your product when you get brand registered. 
Now, if you go the traditional route of you know, hiring someone to do it, it costs between one to $2,000. However, for our BJK University students, we've gone through the whole process ourselves and we've downloaded, into, uh, downloaded three PDFs that are pages and pages and pages long where we show them exactly how to do it. But if you, uh, uh, um, you know, if you do it that way, it really only costs you $250. That's it. Just $250 because the only thing you need to do is you need to just trademark your brand. You select a brand, you go to the USPTO.gov, you register your brand, and it's only $250. You can just do, you only need to do it for one class. It'll ask you classes, which means like categories. Even if you're trying to list different products in different categories, it doesn't matter to Amazon. You just register your brand. Within a week, you get the okay that, hey, your, your application is live. You take that number, you go to Amazon, you apply for brand registry, and boom, within about two to three weeks, you'll have brand registry, and then you can go ahead and uh, get your listing, uh, uh, um, you know, A-plus content uploaded to your listing and get going, okay? So hope this helped you here. Just a basic breakdown of how much it costs you to start an Amazon business. Again, if you found this video valuable, uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and give it a thumbs up. And below this video, there's a small presentation that explains to you exactly how you can get involved with BJK University and how we can help you. So go ahead and be, uh, feel free to check it out. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.